Well, it's good to see you this morning on Wednesday, the 10th of May for morning prayer. Bright and sunny, at least at the moment here in Staple Grove. And um, I hope it's all OK with you. Um, rather exciting yesterday in the storms, of course. Um, and I think more showers rain forecast for today. So um, hopefully we'll be relatively clear. Um, well, let's um, turn to our order of service for today and in the diocese we're praying for all those people who have renewed their roles within the church recently um, we've we're coming to the end of the season of annual meetings in all of our churches um, we've had the annual meetings at Staple Grove and Norton um, and so as always elected church wardens and PCC members and deanery synod reps and so on um, and so we'll be very pleased to pray for all of these people who make a, a valued and important contribution to our churches. We're not commemorating or celebrating anyone in particular today, so I won't be able to dazzle you with my lack of knowledge. Um, but you can follow the order of service through, as always, using the link provided or the Daily Prayer app. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 30. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. O Lord my God, I cried out to you and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name, for his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity I said I shall never be moved. You, Lord, of your goodness, have made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me, and I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried. To the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing and have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord my God, I will give you thanks for ever. Amen. And in the New Testament, 1 Peter, chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. Rid yourselves, therefore, of all malice and all guile, insincerity, envy and slander. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, Though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourself be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, 
to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in Scripture, See, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you then who believe he is precious, but for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the very head of the corner, and the stone, a stone that makes them stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word, as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvellous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. So let's turn to our prayers of intercession as we pray for the world and the church and the day before us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the joy of the Easter story. Lord, we thank you for all that's good in the world and in our own lives. For the hope and the new life that come through the empty tomb and the risen Jesus Christ. Help us once again to put our faith firmly in Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for the psalmist singing your praises and for Peter urging believers to turn away from all things which are bad and to follow you in the ways of mercy and love. And Lord, help us to follow those words. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for our Bible course, the first session meeting last night, having met last week too in Norton, the reminder that all scripture is God breathed, inspired by you. So Lord, help us to dwell richly in your word to allow your word to reach deeply within us and to shape our very existence as we seek to follow you faithfully. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, within our churches today, we're asked to pray for, for those who have been renewed in their roles or begun roles in our annual meetings. So, Lord, we do thank you for our church wardens, for Andrew at Norton, for Felicity and Duncan, and for Alec going uh, outgoing at Staple Grove. Lord, we know the enormous work that they all do for our churches. We pray that your Holy Spirit will continue to enable them. We thank you for our treasurers for Jill and for David, for our secretaries, Sue and Jill, for our PCC members and Deanery Synod reps. And Lord, we thank you for our PCCs, jointly holding responsibility for our churches, for the faithfulness, in some cases going back decades, and for the wisdom that we hold within our churches. And Lord, help us as through your Holy Spirit we long to sing a new song to you, to be the church in this generation. As we tell the good news of Jesus Christ to a new world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, within our wider communities, so we thank you for all that is good. 
Well, today, this evening, it's the annual meeting at Norton Village Hall. Lord, we do thank you for the Village Hall committee and for that facility, an amazing facility, voluntary run, of course. There's so many people's commitment to making it work. And Lord, we pray for that time this evening, for the ongoing work and all the many groups that use that facility, including us, of course, with our office in the hall. And Lord, we pray that well, we pray that that will continue. And there's many areas, Lord, that relies on volunteers. So we pray, Lord, that through your Holy Spirit, new blood will be raised up to take on responsibility with that hall. To support those who already work tirelessly. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we continue to pray for our parish councils, particularly at Norton as they continue and Staple Grove as they finish and uh, amalgamated with other areas of Taunton. Lord, we thank you for those who have served and continue to serve and do such good work. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our schools. Thanking you especially today for the uh, for the Ofsted report at Norton School just published. For all the hugely positive news that comes out of that. The endorsement and the affirmation of all that's good in that school. Lord, we pray that that will be a real boost to the leaders and the staff and the community there and the students. Lord, we pray for your blessing to be upon them this week in their sats and in our ongoing work to raise the profile of the Christian ethos within the school. And Lord, we pray for Staple Grove School too as they attack their sats too and equally continue to grow in our faith and discipleship of you. Lord, we do pray for Rosemary and John and Sandy and others who support the links between our churches and our schools. And we ask that you would equip them with all that they need and grant them the wisdom of your spirit in the work that they do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for those individuals we know who are suffering at the moment, in body, mind or spirit. Lord, we lift to you those who are sick. Praying for Freya, for Barbara, for Derek and Margaret. For Ivy and Gerald, for Mike, for Peter and Lynn, and Lord we bring before you those who are mourning the loss of loved ones, the friends and families of Maria Salvador and especially today of Jim Sanderson as we prepare to commit his ashes to the ground. Lord, we thank you for Jim's life, his links with North Petherton and also with our church here in Staple Grove. And so we pray for those who miss him and love him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So, Lord, we pray for the day that lies ahead of us now, for the plans and intentions that we have, committing ourselves, as always, into your hands and asking that you will lead us, that we may be ambassadors of Jesus Christ here in the world as we seek to follow you and build your kingdom. So, almighty God, who through your only Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened the gate of everlasting life, 
Grant that as by your grace going before us you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effect, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as Jesus himself has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Good to be with you, whether it's live on Wednesday morning or uh, on catch up. And um, look forward to catching up with you soon. Take care.